actions. They define you, your existence. Sometimes they come with a price and sometimes with unappealing consequences. Whatever might be the result, it is yours to own, the outcome and its responsibility. I chose to direct my actions towards a cause where I could actually make a difference, where I have the liberty to learn and give back, where I could serve people. I am Dr. Pradeep Chaube and this is my story. Over the last four decades, my team and I have successfully carried out more than 90,000 surgeries. Let's start our uh, list. And I wanted to particularly tell about the incisional hernia. But to this day, I have never really gotten used to the varied spectrum of human experiences and emotions that this profession entails. The description is going to be difficult on that. Let me tell you, the job of a surgeon is equal parts rewarding and challenging. As a surgeon, it is my top priority that the surgical experience of my patients is safe with least discomfort, quick recovery and excellent cosmetic results. These advantages of laparoscopic technique appeal to me in a big way and I was extremely motivated and determined to bring this technique home to our patients in India. Laparoscopic surgery is different from an open surgery, primarily in terms of the minimal access required to reach the diseased organ. The punctures made in laparoscopic surgery, which are mostly 2 to 5 mm, produce minimal pain and discomfort, at the same time giving minimal scar to the patients. What astonished me most was the patients were walking comfortably just a couple of hours after the operation. This was something we had neither seen nor imagined before. Initially, there was reluctance in the surgical community to accept this new technology. Surely, I faced numerous debates on and off at academic conferences and discussions. Most of the time, these debates were inconclusive due to lack of scientific evidence. But the technique proved its mettle in due course of time. We established the first dedicated minimal access surgery department at Salkanga Ram Hospital in New Delhi in 1996. Since then, there has been no looking back. The list of surgeries continued to expand after the acceptance of laparoscopic cholecystectomy. I feel fortunate and blessed that I was a part of the pioneer group of surgeons who brought this technology that revolutionized the surgical landscape. And that was truly a turning point in medical history. The Max Institute is accredited as an international center of excellence for minimal access surgery and is a renowned training institute. I am blessed to have a dynamic and talented team which is also like my family. We have been together for more than three decades. With our consistent efforts, we have found a unique place in the academic field, both nationally and internationally. I have always believed in the power of medical technology and innovation to empower clinicians. 30 years ago, we took the giant leap of faith from open to laparoscopic surgeries. And now, we have taken another giant leap with the next generation robotic system, Versius, developed by CMR Surgical, Cambridge, UK. This has been possible due to some great minds at work in the research and development units of medical device industry. When we moved from open surgeries to laparoscopic surgeries, we moved from 3D to 2D view. 
we lost out on one dimension which was not desirable however the advantages of laparoscopic surgery outweighed the loss but with versus robotic system we have again gained the third dimension with all the advantages of laparoscopic surgery is intact we have a much better depth perception that helps improve the accuracy and safety of the procedure and reduces the surgical time in the process Is the orientation of all bedside units set in the same direction? Yes. Have the electrosurgery tables been connected and the appropriate ESU settings checked? Yes. Is the auxiliary screen visible by every member of the team? Yes. Has the correct endoscope angle been selected on the HUD menu? Yes. Has the surgeon set the required hand scale option? Yes. Thank you. We will proceed. telescope angle set to 30 degree has the surgeon set the required hand scaling option hand scaling option fast all set let's go ahead versius is a portable surgical robotic system that can be moved between different operation theaters which makes it more efficient and open for use across multi specialty surgeries The next generation robot can be used for all common surgical conditions like gallbladder stones, hernia, appendicitis, gastroesophageal reflux disease, bariatric and metabolic surgery, fund application and other procedures. Its robotic arms provide improved dexterity with a wide range of delicate wrist movements for precise and efficient alignment which overcomes the limitations of the human wrist. I wanted to see the synergy we could create between the surgical team and the versus system. During this we realized that we could complete 100 robotic surgeries within 17 days during the regular operating hours. To our surprise it proved to be a new world record in robotic surgery. Today morning I came here around 9 for uh, my surgery for gallbladder and uh, uh, like the experience has been really nice now it's been say 8 hours post surgery and I am feeling quite uh, better I am almost forgetting that I have had surgery also tomorrow I think uh, I'll be discharged also The cuts are very small and uh, it was a very nice experience. I had almost no pain. I could resume to my regular activities from the very next day. I feel very emotional when a grandson or granddaughter of a patient I operated on a few decades back walks into my OPD chamber for their own surgical consult. I feel humbled that I have been able to build that kind of trust and confidence in people. This I believe is my biggest earning I feel humbled and privileged to be serving as a surgeon to the honorable president of India and the armed forces medical services I greatly admire the simplicity of the former president Mr K R Narayanan when I operated him for gallbladder stone being honored with the prestigious padma award in 2002 by mr narayanan was an emotional and proud moment of my life my biggest honor was when i was given the opportunity to operate on his holiness my intimate interaction with him taught me the true meaning of his teachings of compassion and inner peace i am eternally grateful to him a treasure the unconditional love and friendship that he has extended to me and my family after decades of surgical experience i still enjoy getting into the learning curve and exploring the ever growing technological advancements in my field the everlasting support of my family and the sight of my happy patients give me the strength to go back out there every single day 
and face new challenges with the same zeal and determination. There is so much to learn, so much to give, but most importantly, so many lives yet to be touched.